this music Monday is the super woman empowering woman edition with brown eyed girls six cents finally brown eyed girls my favorite girl group is back time to celebrate I'm back. <clears throat> I know I'm not the only one in saying this, but I'm so happy that Brown Eyed Girls have finally returned. Now, the first time we heard the song, we were a little bit disappointed. I think we were expecting something similar to Abracadabra, but after listening to this a few times, we realized how awesome and powerful the song was. It has layers of powerful vocals with a soulful vibe and a totally rocking orchestra. If you're looking for like a dirty electronica song like Abracadabra, this isn't it, but that doesn't mean that the song isn't still totally badass. BEG is such a fantastically talented band. They're strong and powerful and they always sing their freaking guts out. Did you hear that high note at the end? Yeah! Exactly the same, right? Not really. Another thing I really love about this music video is that brown eyed girls are portrayed as really strong and confident women. They don't have that kind of like cute and coy, like eggio style girl. They're not singing about boys and dating and I'm kind of shy and scared. They're singing songs about rebellion and lack of freedom. And this music video is chock full of symbolism. It's like an English teacher's dream. We see Miro struggling against being a puppet, forced to speak messages that are not her own, while Gaian reveals that for girls, sexuality and good looks comes at a very violent cost, while Narsha is slowly going crazy as a caged animal. Sure, she's being fed delicious and expensive birds, but that's not what she wants. She wants her own freedom. We even see a lot of similarity to Trent Reznor's website, Art is Resistance, from the posters and the stencils on the wall. Yeah, man, this video is deep. It's very clear to us that this video was thought out very, very well. The producer took the time and didn't slap things together just to have some kind of like cutesy meaning. Really great job. Yes! Finally, sexiness done right. We keep on making fun of Bubble Pop as sexiness done wrong. Bubble Pop just seemed like a North American style video with inappropriate shaking and rubbing. While brown eyed girls are being sexy not by rubbing, but by being powerful and confident and aggressive. Really, your attitude and your confidence are infinitely more sexy than what you could do with your body alone. And really, brown eyed girls are a perfect example of this. Guy in tied up in a chair with messy wet hair and angry smudged makeup is a lot more sexy than than any face arousal or raunchy thrusting that I've ever seen. I mean, look at that face. Um, look at that anger. Um, and look at that girl rolling around in a room full of sand and then meowing. Um. Okay, that wasn't really that sexy, but you know what I mean. I mean, what's she even doing there? Everyone else is tied up or trapped and you're rolling around in a sandbox? There is a time and a place for building sand castles and for rubbing yourself all over a beach. And let me tell you, when your friends are tied up and the riot squad is about to march, that's not really the best time. Anyways, I find that whenever I'm watching a BEG video, I always feel like I'm watching like a mini movie, you know? It somehow lacks the feeling of like a K-pop music video. It always seems really like dark and scary and intense. In fact, it seems like most of Brown Eyed Girls music videos and even Guyan's solo release seem to be pretty dark and serious. It makes me wonder, who decides on these plots anyways? Okay, Guyan, uh, we're gonna start directing Abracadabra soon. I'm mm. thinking because Abracadabra is magical, we should have like a magic theme with a surprise ending to oh, it. Oh my God. I love that idea. Cool. And you know what? So, we should like dress us up in leather and have like a bunch of girls like fawn with me and I'll like fall to the floor and be like la 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 and then we should like strap a bomb to a guy's chest and like blow him up and then at the end I should like make out with some girls. Yeah. Well. It'll be great. Okay. That's great. Um, I'm going to get rid of the bunny from the hat but yeah you're, that's a perfect idea. Okay guy. Uh, since we're starting a music video for Sign, I'm thinking because it's SOS theme, we should have some kind of rescue going on here. That's such a great idea. Oh my god, okay. we should get the girls and put them in the like, glass containers and we'll drown them. And then I'll get like beat up and you'll tie me to a chair. And then I'll have this guy try to rescue me, but he can't because I'm already dead. It'll be great! Um, I was thinking more like princesses and castles, maybe a unicorn and a prince. But what you're saying is a good idea. Mm. Yes, we'll definitely do that. That's awesome. a much better idea. Okay, guys, I don't know. We're starting six cents now. I'm thinking maybe we should have you like in leather and corsets and, and have you like trapped in water and then we should like beat up Narsha and tie her to a chair. And I think that's how it's gonna roll. What? What's wrong with you? 
Oh my god, I'm sorry. I, I thought, I'm really sorry. Please, don't get upset. I'm the one that's in a chair. I get beat up and put in a chair. I always get beat up and put in a chair. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, we can arrange that. Okay. <laughs> Good talk. Yeah. And here. I'll tell you what really surprised me about the video. How freaking long it took the Riot Squad to change sides. Seriously, how did they last even three minutes? I don't know about you, but if I was a Riot Squad and I saw brown-eyed girls sexily rubbing themselves all over my shield, and I wasn't married to my beautiful and lovely wife, of course, I would have turned sides quicker than something that turns sides very quickly. Ho! Oh, I am a police! No one can stop our democratic right to be sexy. Please, leave the premises immediately and stop touching yourself. Yeah, no one has that right to take away their sexiness. Hey, can I have your number? How did you get can I have here your number? so fast? Hey. Police. How about, I'm the police. Hey, no, come police. here. I can protect you. I can have your number. So very surprisingly, this music video doesn't have any dance moves in it. So what, we're just going to skip mean? right there, over the section. There are lots of dances in this video. No, there was nothing. For Simon to traumatize but I you with. Did all the, the memories are overwhelming me. <laughs> kiss, 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 kiss. Ow! Meow! 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 the English of the song, we give the say 3.5 out of 5. Some of the English was quite good and some of it was a little bit awkward. And they actually lost some points on pronunciation mistakes. Kiss, kiss, French, French. Yeah, the pronunciation was a little bit off, but we loved the meaning of the whole song. It's so arousing. But what good is a sexy song on Music Monday if I don't ruin it for you somehow? And by me, of course, I mean my devastatingly handsome friend Fabio the Poet. Hello ladies, today I will do the dramatic reading of Six Sense by Brown Eyed Girls. I can never be tamed. I can never. Don't touch, touch, rush, rush. My eyes that arouse you, even from far away. Light, light, guilty, guilty. The bubble in champagne explodes! Good pain. This feeling that I want to share with you is more than emotion. Better than the love motion. Thank you. Last week we asked you who made a better firefighter. Milos, Kongaroo, Kitties, and Teenage Girls Hearts in Beautiful Target, or Ihori in Mr. Big. And surprisingly, Belasa conquered! But Yuri has a real fire hose and she sprays that guy down and she's all like, Hey, this is Mr. Big. For this week's showdown, we ask you which video you think has more strong and powerful and eyebrow raising women in it. Brown Eyed Girls and Sixth Sense, or 21 and I am the best. Leave your votes in the comments or in our Facebook poll and we'll announce the winners next week. Also, thanks everybody who requested Brown Eyed Girls this week. If there's a video you want to see us do for next week's Music Monday, head on over to eatyourkimchi.com slash requests and tell us who we should do a video for. It's about time we did another giveaway and now is a perfect moment with two copies of Brown Eyed Girls new album. We're totally huge fan of Brown Eyed Girls if you can't tell so we figured we'd give away a couple of their CDs. For our YouTube subscribers only, leave your answers to our skill testing question in the comment section below this video. Question is, what was your favorite part of the BEG Sixth Sense music video and why? So many parts to choose from, so little time. We'll pick two winners and mail out your albums next week. Don't forget to like and favorite this video and to subscribe for more K-pop music Mondays because we give CDs away for our subscribers. Take it away, Spudgy.